guys, it's the next morning. We <laughs> were all suffering from like allergies. We look a little busted, but last night was so interesting. I'll have to explain what happened. So I woke up at 2.45 on the dot because I heard like people screaming and like negative commotion and it sounded like it was coming from the hallway like outside of the apartment and I got really freaked out everyone else was asleep so I like was trying to think about what what our game plan was like what are we gonna do so I got my shoes on but then when I went to stand up it sounded like the noise was coming from like down here which we have people who are next to us and that's probably where it was coming from but it, it was just so loud like the walls were really thin and so there was nothing outside the window and then I went up to the like second floor where Alex was he was passed out asleep and I checked to see if the door was actually locked because I didn't check before I went to bed and I was like crap please let it be locked please let it be locked and luckily it was I was like okay I think we're good but I was still kind of like freaking out a bit so I went back downstairs got in bed and then I checked my phone and my school group chat was blowing up because there were a bunch of tornadoes that went through middle Tennessee last night. And one of them happened to be like really, really close to my house. It was just like a little bit south. And so I was up for about two hours watching the news live stream, um, like watching all the tornadoes and then texting like my girlies in school to make sure like they were okay. Then I woke up like my friends and I was like, look, the tornado is near your, your house. You should probably call your family. So she was doing that. Mark was completely asleep, knocked out, had no idea what was going on. If a bomb went off, he wouldn't have heard it. <laughs> and then I went back up to wake Alex up because it kind of like one of the tornadoes went kind of near his house. And so I, <laughs> I scared the crap out of him and he just was looking at me crazy. I mean, as he should. Eventually we went back to sleep. Um, but there was still like random commotion. It was like four in the morning and people were still up. I don't know if they were partying or what, but like some of the cars down here started going off, like their little alarm. The view is so pretty. But we slept in way later than we anticipated. However, we were like super exhausted from the road trip. Like a lot of us um, just pulled an all-nighter beforehand. I only got two hours of sleep and then I drove half the way. Alex finally took over towards the end, thankfully, and I got like a little nappy. But it's like almost noon, I think, or a little afternoon, and we're trying to decide on breakfast. Um, I think we're gonna go to Midnight Diner, eat something, and then afterwards we're going to Frog Daddy's, which is where Mark wanted to go to look at his poison dart frogs. Um, and that's like 35 minute drive away. Okay, we just got parked and we decided on the Red Eye Diner because the Midnight Diner was closed. And we just got here and it looks so cute. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. What are you gonna get, sir? I don't know. It's either gonna be probably a burger or corned beef hash, one of the two. I haven't decided which. I am gonna get the chicken and waffles with the two wings. I got bottled water. Not sure what these kiddos are gonna get yet. Yum. That's what I saw when we were looking at the when we were looking at our. I think we're He's ready to go. Still reading. What are you gonna get? Um let's see. Burger. I think it comes with an egg. Okay. And pancakes. Yum! This is gonna be good. And they have cute size. I love the retro vibe to it. And they have these cute like records. On the wall. Yum. Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. Go ahead. Take a bite. I was going to cut it in half, but it's quite large. Mm -hmm. These chicken tenders are so good. Perfect. 
perfectly seasoned. Yeah, I'll be you napkin. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Yum. Cheers. <laughs> well. Eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten? Okay. Alright. Fair. This is cool. What? What about it? I could go for a beer right now. But they might have be, beers in there. Well, I gotta be sober for frog experiences. Should it be <laughs> now if they're closed, then I will probably go separately. We just made it to Frog Daddy and I think someone's excited. They even have like sorted foliage. Yes. This is actually pretty cool. And they have. Is this for enclosures? Like, is this mulch? Yes. So, like, this is stuff that you can find just on the ground in the rainforest. Oh, I can hear the songs. Oh, <laughs> I don't think they have a micro habitat. I would get that. I want a little. Can, can what if I leave here with a frog? <laughs> <laughs> what if? Get out of here. <laughs> What was her name? Ellie. Ellie. And then what's this one? Uh, Rubble. 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 Oh. Are you in heaven, Mark? Oh, a frog right there. Okay. Where? Right. Kind of to, like, where? 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 Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, he, yeah, he's right in there. Cool. Inside the middle. Oh. Yeah, he's in there. Hi, buddy. Oh, there's a baby right there. Look. And part of that leaf to the right of this big leaf on the ground. Oh, there's two of them. Two oh, of there is. Oh my gosh, Evelyn, come look at this. Look where I have my camera. Oh, look at the babies. Oh my gosh. So tiny. Oh, Mark. Mark, look at these. They're, oh my gosh. They blend in. That's a Vietnamese mossy frog. Yeah, those are my favorites. And I'm using Theloderma portocalis. Oh, Mark, look at these. Look at these. And those are my second favorites. Oh, my goodness. Look how big. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at him. Yeah. He's a chunk. There's like He's a, a chunky boy. Four, in there. four of yeah, these in here? Yeah. They, really? Yeah. They, they must be hiding. They, um, they go into the ground. Oh. A Pac-Man frog? Do you know how big they get? No. They get to about mm -hmm. this big. How big? That Whoa. Big. That's a big frog. Oh, these are cool. They're mint colored. Oh my goodness. Look you how should get these. fancy. These are a good beginning. I want the Amazon milk frog. That's what I want. Oh, I grab an orange. That's orange. These are... So cool. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Oh, look at him. Okay. These are ultra rare. Oh, These are like six hundred dollars a piece. And then I go with here. Ooh, here's one right there. Whoa. Ooh, he's pretty. Especially this one. Oh, Mark has some of those at home. He's a baby. Ooh, this one's pretty. There's one hiding. Um, that's the same one as that one. Sad story about these. The beach, there's like an island called the Island of Baston Minnows that they live in. And unfortunately, the beach area that they are like known for has kind of been like touristed and now they're not really a thing anymore. Aww. So, 
very cool locale, but unfortunately, oh, look not at this one. He came out. Ooh, I love that one. These are a bunch of the new ones. Look at him. They like to get out sometimes. Oh, they like to get out sometimes? Yeah, that's why. Oh, he's hiding. Not really. Ooh, Mark, this one's cool. Do you see it in between the leaves right there? Look how big he is compared to my finger. And my hands are small. <laughs> my little pinky. He's so tiny. My coaster. Ooh. And then we got some of the babies. Like that one's really small. Oh wow, you have them like yeah. sorted out. Yeah, and some of them, they're really hard to breathe. Because they're really, really dry. Uh-huh. So some of these died, but they're not still in there. They died. They're just not moving. Like that oh one's getting gosh. ready to go out. Look, this one has a little tail on it. Oh, oh, you even have them in little yeah. containers. Here is some in here. Um, so then when y'all ship these out, do you ship it, these or do you wait until they're actual frogs? I do not know, but um, we, I'm pretty sure, we can ask my mom, she's right there, and there's some over here, and... Here's some, here's a baby. He's so small. He just got out of the tadpole. Aww. That's, look, those are the ones I have at home. Uh, yeah, it is. Except mine never come out like these do. Well, your tank is bigger. And you have more plants. And I have plants. a bunch of more plants. Did you see um, their tadpole set up down here? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's cool. Super cool. Wow. Heaven. I have, I have goals in life, and this is one of them. Crazy. One of my friends has a tent like this. It's not this bad. I want to say. So pretty. Like one of the ones I've This is so cool. Like varicosa, for example. There's so many different types. There's dwarf. There is a small version. Are you going to buy any plants? I am. <gasps> Which ones? Probably going to get some bromeliads because I am in need for my next project. And then there's some phylogenders I wanted to look at. And then if she can give me any information on frog availability, I may, I may not get some frogs. You might get some froggies. But it depends on what's available. Certain things I'm like, eh, and then some things I'm like, yes, please. But I probably am going to get some of these just because... You need this in your bedroom so you can have your own little thing. I know. I would love it. Which frog were you wanting to get? Well, there's like several I would buy if they're available. Mm. It depends on what's available. Unfortunately, I don't think very many of them are. Mm. And it also could be a thing that Alex knows what's available in his mind, but it may not be common knowledge. Because right. a lot of availability, when I talk about what's here but not on the web store, like... He could look into a tank one day and see that a frog, uh, like there's an extra one in there. It's like, oh, well, that's available now. Yeah. But it's kind of one of those things where you kind of just have to look around. He knows the inventory in his noggin. Yeah. So we'll see. Like, there's several Pamelio I want to get. There's a couple of Ranitomea, the really tiny ones I want to get. Uh, if there are any male Azurius, I will pick up one or two of those because... I've got two females, unfortunately, and I need a male or two, preferably two, but that could be expensive. But like this guy, I like, and then got a bunch of loot. Was it successful? I am a happy man. <laughs> no frogs today. Four hundred dollars out of my pocket, and very pleased. I honestly should have bought more, but. That is for next time.